Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got another blaster box of 2022 Update Series Tops Baseball. I uh, figured over the next week or so, maybe two weeks, I'll kind of do some of my favorite openings um, from 2022. Uh, now that we are in 2023, and we're kind of in a point where there's nothing real crazy coming out, or it looks like on the checklist, or on the, on the list of uh, releases coming out soon, so I figured do a couple of the ones... Um, and I'm going to pick and choose a couple of products that I personally liked. It might not be products that you guys liked um, because of the value or what you get from it or whatever the case is. But uh, products that I enjoyed opening, especially this past year, update might might have been maybe the top of my list and, uh, for hobby uh, hobby purposes. Or um, not just hobby pop purposes, but blaster purposes as well where... Um, you know, the checklist was phenomenal this year. Bobby Witt, Julio. Uh, you get Wander rookie debuts in here. Uh, Torkelson, which I'm curious to see what he does come next year. I'm not completely sold on him um, that he's going to be a bust or anything like that. Um, Detroit definitely, a, you know, had a little bit of a rough year last year. Um, and then there's some other, you know, even lower names. Uh, Kirby and Brash for the uh, Mariners, pitcher-wise. Cal Raleigh as well for the Mariners. Um, I think his... Does he have a rookie debut in here? I know he has series... I know his rookie was in series one. I'm trying to think off the top of my hand. Head. Um, but then you got Jose Miranda, MJ Melendez. A couple of guys that, you know, could be something fun to watch in the up in the next couple of years. So, um, And C.J. Abrams, actually, is another name I did forget. Uh, Nick Pavetta, Carlos Verdone. Shane Boz, rookie debut. Tommy Fan. We got Alex Dickerson, Roberto Perez, Rene Pinto, Ron Maricino, Tim LaCastro, Josh Harrison, uh, Taylor Banks, Bennett Sousa. We do get a blue. Austin Meadows, saw the Tiger logo. Just kind of hoping maybe it would have been a Torkelson. Uh, Paragons of the postseason, Bob Gibson, and our first stars of MLB. Durant. So, I saw that blue. I saw the tiger. Kind of hoping it was going to be a Torkelson, but unfortunately it's not. We got Steven Matz, Matt Brash, rookie debut, Shashin, Tapia, Perdomo, Schwarber. We do get a base, uh, Torkelson rookie, Terpera, Stars Collide, uh, Picture Perfect, Doolittle. Chad Green, Aaron Bummer, and no, nothing there, and O'Neill Cruz, stars of MLB. Yeah, you know, Alex Thomas also, too, is another name I uh, forgot about also, too, in this checklist that I'm curious to see. I think that's going to be fun uh, to watch as well with uh, their young outfield that they're going to have soon. Hunter Kerr home runs for Otani, Amir Garrett, D D Nelson Lamette. Jacob Stallings, Hunter Green, another name I did forget, Stephen Boyd, George Kirby, Olaire and Johnson, Grambone and Efros, Noah Syndergaard, we get Chrome, Brandon Marsh, Stars of OLB, Torkelson, um, Generation Now, I feel like that could be a blue border. Alex Thomas, 87, and Abrams, stars of MLB. The total sum might be a blue border. I got to double check that. Uh, blue borders, or blue parallels, I should, not a blue border. Blue parallel is what I should be saying. Um, those are not numbered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because usually it's silver on this side. But, hey, not bad. I'll take it. And then Brandon Marsh, Stars of LP Chrome. I do kind of like these in the Chrome version. I know a lot of people uh, were not a fan of those this year. Um, the 90 card set, 30 cards in Series 1, 30 cards Series 2, and then another 30 in Update. Um, Caleb Fieldbar, Muziati, Rookie, Chris Archer, Nick Plummer, Connor Falefa, we got Colin Moran, Nick Whitgreen. Stephen Kwan, rookie debut. Actually, that's another name I forgot. Alex Kalanick, Guardians of the Central. O'Neill Cruz, rookie debut. 
Quintana. Then we got Ryan Presley and Bryson Stott. So it's been okay. Still looking for a Julio or a Bobby Witt. Definitely two of the names that I'm looking for. That's the fat pack. So that has our helmet relic, which I am not the biggest fan of, in my opinion. But Owen Miller, Taylor Waltz. We got Royce Lewis, a rookie debut. Nick Senzo, Pujols, Joe Ross, Hunter Dozier, Luke Raley, Garrett Cooper. We got Suzuki, rookie debut. Jake Walsh, Snipe Mount, Zach Davies, and Jonathan India, stars of MLB. So definitely, this blaster has been a little underwhelming so far. Jose Miranda, like I said, he's one that I like personally. Adam Hazley, Luis Torrens, CJ Abrams, rookie debut. Gutierrez, CJ Abrams, base rookie. Hunter Renfro, and we also get Jeremy Pena, rookie. Brousseau, Danny Young, Penn Murphy. Uh, new tests for the West. We do get a Bobby Witt, rookie debut. Matt Chapman behind that. And Shane Boz, stars of MLB. So able to at least get one of the Bobby Witts. And then usually, too, I'm always checking. I'm always checking on the last card before the insert. Um... Because sometimes those could be like the advanced stats. Um, they're number to three hundred. They're not. I don't. I don't know if they're always flipped around or not. Honestly, because I know in some. I know in some packaging cards are flipped. Some packaging it's not flipped. I think hanger boxes, um, like the short prints, are not flipped around. Um, I think in blaster they were, but I could be mistaken on that. Uh, it would be nice if I could pull one in this pack. To, to see how they do come. But Jose Miranda, rookie this time. Gertrick, Chapman, 100 career home runs. Kyle Cody, 3,000 hits for Miggy. Nico Goodrum. And we got Phoenix Sanders, Dustin Knight. MVP caliber, Ryan Peepoit. And we get a foil. Colin Moran, not really the name I'm looking for. From the back, we got McCutcheon. And we got All Star Springer. Yep, George Kirby. So like I said, with that blue, that was all here. I think that Torkelson was a blue parallel. And our relics array, Randy Rosarena. So not bad. I mean, box wasn't too bad. I, I don't know. These things, this, I don't know. Never was never a fan of these in series two or series uh or an update series for some reason. I know some people, guys, I know some of you guys like them. I know a lot of people, they were basically ripping those things apart and using these helmets as, uh, and they get like little magnets and use them as magnets, which not really a bad idea, honestly. Um, I've seen some other things that people were doing with them as well, but I don't know, not a big fan of these. Kind of a waste, um, you know, as you can see too, like, you know, there's a little bit of, a little bit of indent on there, but. Overall, I mean, the, this is kind of what you kind of expect from a blaster box in a way. But still, I mean, realistically, though, we did get a lot of rookies or rookie debuts. So can't really complain there. Um, you know, of course, we're always looking for Julio's and, and, and in any of the color or numbered cards, um, you know, of those top rookies or even the short prints, too. No short prints in this box either. Blasters are definitely not the way to go if you're chasing short prints. I think hanger boxes are the way to go, hence why... I think you see hanger boxes kind of reselling for about 20 bucks, maybe. Um, maybe even a little higher than that, maybe 22 or something like that. So, I mean, definitely hanger boxes, I always felt were the best way to open these, but I, I picked up a blaster box too, because I, I do enjoy opening the, opening the blaster boxes, um, you know, from time to time. But with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you, let me leave, leave any comments. Um, on Tops Update Series. Let me know what you guys think about it. I always like to hear from you guys about it. Are you guys still ripping Update Series if you get your hands on it out in the wild? Or um, have you kind of moved on to other releases? I know Update's been out for a few months now. But I still like opening up just the regular flagship version of it. 
But, and also too, if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate if you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.